Step one in the conversion process is to raise the top cover. Remove the trunnion protector if you have one. Retract the bolt and make sure that the gun is unloaded. Using your index finger, hold down the belt holding pawl and pry the belt holding pawl pin out of its hole with a flat blade screwdriver. After the pin is out, you can release the spring tension on the belt holding pawl and remove the pawl. You can also re remove the spring if you wish. At this point, remove the 308 front cartridge stop from its place on the receiver. Raise the extractor and remove the 308 rear cartridge stop. If it's welded in place, you will have to bend and break it off. Here's a comparison of an Israeli 308 front cartridge stop and an 8mm cartridge stop. It is basically an Israeli 308 cartridge stop that has been milled to accept 8mm rounds. You can now insert the 8mm front cartridge stop into its appropriate location on the receiver. Replace your spring and your belt holding pawl. Hold it down with your index finger and insert the belt holding pawl pin through the belt holding pawl and the 8mm cartridge stop. Check the belt holding pawl to make sure that it has proper spring tension. After releasing the tension on the driving rod spring, remove the back plate and bolt assembly. Remove the lock frame and then pull the barrel extension and barrel from the rear of the receiver. While the barrel is out of the weapon, remove the Israeli 308 booster. In its place, install a 30-06 booster. There is no need to buy an 8mm booster as the USGI version will, will work just fine. You can use either the one or two piece booster in this application. Replace the lock ring if necessary and tighten the entire assembly with a strap wrench or booster wrench. Remove the 308 barrel from the barrel extension. You can now install your new 8mm barrel into the barrel extension. Screw it in until the breech face of the barrel is flush with the inside surface of the barrel extension. Install the barrel, the barrel extension, and lock frame into the rear of the receiver. You can then install the bolt, reinstall the back plate, and release the driving spring rod tension. Now it's time to headspace the weapon. Retract the bolt three quarters of an inch, and then release it to see if you get complete lockup. If you do, rotate the barrel one to two clicks to the left until you get an incomplete lockup. You will be able to tell that you have incomplete lockup when you can see the head spacing notches on the barrel when looking down from the top of the weapon. When you have achieved incomplete lockup, rotate the barrel one click at a time to the right until you get complete lockup. That is the point of zero head space. You should run 8mm at 0 to 1 click out from 0 headspace.
reinstall your drone wound protector if you wish to use one. Then close your top cover. You've completed the 8mm conversion of an Israeli 308 modified Browning 1919 A4.